Hey YouTube class, what's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you the process to make a paper mache dog. Just like this one. Alright, so the supplies that you're going to need for this project are pencil and paper to make your sketch. You're going to need newspapers to make your armature. And then later on you're going to tear it into strips. You're going to need masking tape, glue, paint brushes, a big one and a small one for details, and then some tempera paint. Here's my sketch, and this is step one. This is always step one. You have to have a plan to know what you're doing so you're not wasting art supplies or sitting around doing nothing. You know who you are. Next, I'm going to work on my armature. You can make your armature out of wire or newspaper. I'm going to be using newspaper because I have a lot of it. It's a good way to repurpose it as well. So then it doesn't end up in a landfill. So in the long run, it's better for the environment as long as you don't throw it away. Because when you do that, it kind of defeats the purpose. Now that we have our armature shaped and taped, it's time to get our newspaper ready. And blue water. So here's where it gets really messy and you're going to want to have something down to protect your table if you think that you're going to drip or make a mess or anything like that. Because when you're using glue all, this stuff is very nearly permanent. So paper mache was invented in the Han Dynasty in China, and that would be from the year 202 BC to about 220 AD. So over 1800 years ago, paper mache was made. And you probably thought that it came from France, judging from its name, but that's okay. And what did they use paper mache for in China? That's a good question, and I'm glad you asked. They used it to make helmets of all things. That's right, helmets. They used paper to protect their brains in combat. Sounds like a great idea, huh? After China, paper mache spread to Japan and Persia. 
points if you know where Persia is. Any guesses? Hmm, that's right. That area is known as modern day Iran. So the Prince of Persia games and movies are about Iran. In Japan and Persia, they use paper mache to make masks and items for festivals like decorations and things. Now we're getting to the part where paper mache gets its name from. In the 17th century, which is the 1600s, paper mache traveled to Europe and France was the first country in Europe that started using it. After that, it went to England and all the other European countries. So paper mache actually means chewed paper in French. And when the people in England were making things, they were cool with everyone thinking that they had people sitting around chewing paper because they could keep their actual process a secret. Here's my greyhound, ready to paint. The first and second coat can be plain and you want to apply them so that it covers everything but not too thick because it'll take a really long time to dry. Paper mache didn't really gain popularity in the USA until the 1960s though, and then it kind of exploded as an arts and crafts thing. One artist in particular picked up the medium. Her name was Gemma, and she began making detailed busks. After creating a figure, she would cover it in a semi-gloss enamel that made it look like porcelain. Okay, so I've finished my second layer of paint on the Greyhound, and now that I'm doing the third layer, I actually want to go back and make the body white and put black spots on it. Um, I've also penciled in the areas for the eyes and the ears and all the little details. Anything that you want to add in, pencil it in now and then you can paint it on. So the cool thing about paper mache is that it can be used to make things the size of this Greyhound that I'm doing or really tiny things like this, or gigantic things like this. So here's my completed greyhound. I made him white with black spots. He's got eyes and ears and some black spots on his tail. I even put his little feet on there. So when you're making your own animal, it doesn't have to be a greyhound. Just remember if you make mistakes, you know, roll with it. Everything will turn out fine in the end. Here's a few more photos done by various artists so you can get an idea of other things that you can do with paper mache.